All right. This is um, version 2.0 on the centrifuge filtering system. Um, I, I guess I saw some other guys taking videos, so I figured I might as well throw mine in there too. All right. I I use a little bit different here. I I don't use the the Harbor Freight pumps, and I. Not particularly fond of gravity right now. Don't really have the room for it. So I've gone with good old fashioned compressed air. And I pump everything with my drum pump. So this drum holds the dirty oil. And I, I pump it out. That's about 10 psi or 11 and, and here you see dirty oil in and it's actually flowing right now this is my drain so I fill up my dirty drum I let it sit for a couple days then I drain about five to ten gallons off the bottom of it. I just push this down and that, that gets it off the very bottom. Otherwise I keep it about four inches off the bottom. But I'll drain that ten gallons off the bottom through here. Then you come over. I used to have the hot water heater element in the top back when I was using galvanized. Um, I changed it this way to ensure that the water heater element was always submersed. And this is my, my 220. I can turn my element on and off. Touch of a button there in case emergencies happen. This is my big old command switch for the centrifuge. My, my whole little cart here is fed with 220 and then split off 110 for the pump or not the pump but the uh, centrifuge and then 220 for the heater um, after leaving the heater it feeds through here I'm going to see if we can uh, there you go can you see the smoke not smoke but the steam rising out of the centrifuge do a temperature check and that's at 160 Oh, air goes and starting to drop pretty quick. So I've got my element set at about 125 there. And due to the nature of the system with the black pipe and all, it's kind of hot there. The ambient temperature in here, unless my gauge is way off, the ambient air temperature in my centrifuge is 160. You see the bowl's kind of fogged up there, and I got puffs of steam coming out of those bolt holes. I opted not to have it bolted down. So we take a look in there, and that's a uh, simple centrifuge bowl. And the whole machine I bought off the internet. It's supposed to be a B clean, like a bumblebee, a B clean 1200G. All right, out of the out of the centrifuge, coming down here we have the waste drain, and then on this side we have the clean oil. I ran the waste down into a collection cubie, and you can see it, it does get some junk out. And then for the good oil, I brought it down here with the bungee cord. So that way I create kind of a little air trap to keep any condensation that might try and scoot down that tubing from uh, going through the oil. And it's also my kind of quality control. It gets kind of grainy there. That's out of my ray cord shorted out on me. And that's my clean drum. It's not full yet. 
But what I'll do is I'll put another drum pump, a pneumatic drum pump in here, once it's full, and I'll pump it. I'll pump it over here into this guy. And then that's what I fill my truck with. It's on wheels. And I roll it out there to the truck. And I, I can fill up the truck. I got the uh, trusty golden rod there just to make sure I don't get any kind of junk out of that barrel. Like, uh, I don't know, what would come out of a barrel? Um, some condensation in the bottom, I suppose. And, uh, well, if any, anything kind of gets in there, it's a 15 micron filter, so it's not the best, but I mainly have it there for water. Okay, out of my centrifuge, I got another 220 outlet. And this 220 runs into the backyard. I plug and unplug it as needed. And it comes out here to the settling station. And I use that 220 to heat this guy and it's it's pretty hot. It's turned on right now. Um, 5,000 or 5,500 I think it was. 5,500 watts. So this is a settling drum. I can drain out of the bottom of it. Uh, I can feed it through the top using my swimming pool pump down there. And let's get a big picture of uh, all of my garbage back here. See so these guys, these two drums drop onto this wooden platform which goes in the back of my truck and I use it for sucking up out of the uh, the big drums where I go get oil from everyone else gives it to me in cubies and they pile up rather quickly that's why I built this so I can start dumping cubies straight into these drums I can transfer it from drum to drum I can drain it off of the bottom of these drums and then also I can heat it up and settle it See, once it's done its heating and settling, I'll pump it through here. You can see the last time I, I pumped it, uh, I, I didn't wait for it to settle long enough, and so there's a high water content in that one. But I'll open up various valves, grab my hose, got plenty of it here, run in the garage, and uh, fill up my drums. And then I can centrifuge it. And there we go. That's uh, version 2.0. The reason I call it 2.0 is because previously I used galvanized. Stupid rookie mistake. And uh, now I know much better. So there we have it. This is my centrifuge setup. Two drum system. It's on wheels. I can roll it back and forth wherever I need to. I use the air pumps. It's all mobile. I had initially thought I could even roll this into the back of a trailer take it with me when I go places and uh, I can run it off my truck. My truck's got a power inverter on it and an air compressor so I can just do this whole thing on the road if I needed to but obviously it's a huge um, setup there and it's not exactly mobile. But um, Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching.